Hey everyone, it's Belinda, and today I'm going to show you the difference between visual and textual Dynamo programming. There are two ways to create Dynamo scripts. The first is visual by using the inbuilt nodes and the second textual by using just Python scripting. I think this shows the flexibility and potential that Dynamo has. Whether you're a programmer or not, you can still produce the same output. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an array of nine spheres of different radii by using these two methods. I'm going to start off with the blank Dynamo workspace and I'm going to go to the search box and type in sphere by center point radius. Once I get that node, I see that the two inputs I need are a center point with three coordinates and a radius. So I'm going to look for a point by coordinates node. You can see that the first one that I picked has just two values, X and Y, but we need three values, X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to pick the second point by coordinates node. And then I'm going to connect this node to the other one. In order to input values for X, Y, and Z coordinates, I'm going to use three different code blocks. I'm just going to copy them over. But you can see I need a fourth code block for the radius. For this first exercise, I'm going to create a sphere of radius 5 at the origin. When I run the script, you can see the output right there. Since I want to create an array of 9 spheres, I'm going to change the single value coordinate to a list of 9 different values. For the x coordinates, I'm just going to pick values of 0, 5, and 10. For y, I'll just pick any arbitrary numbers of 0, 5, and 11. For Z, I want all the spheres to be on the same plane, so I'm going to set all nine values as zero. I can keep a single value for the radius so that all nine spheres look exactly the same, as you can see. But we don't want that. We want different radii. So I'm going to change that value to a list as well. And you can see our final output. In the top right corner, you can change this workspace from the graph view to the background 3D preview so that you can see your model more clearly. You can orbit around this workspace and see it from all different angles. We use six different nodes to create this output. I'm going to show you how to create the same thing by using just one Python node. When I edit this node, you can see by default, you get the bare bones of a Python script. The proto geometry library has been imported. There's a line of code to input values into this node and one to output them. Since we're not going to be using any external values, we're just going to be using Python script, we can go ahead and delete the data entering node line. The first thing I'm going to do is create four different lists for the x, y, and z coordinates as well as for the different radii. Since I want the second array of spheres to be next to the first array, I'm just going to add a value of 20 to all the x coordinates. I'm going to keep the y coordinates as well as the z coordinates the same. The radii are going to be the same as well. Next, we're going to have to declare two empty lists. The first is going to be the center point and the second, the nine spheres. After this, we're going to write a for loop. This is the same as using the point by coordinates node. So for i in the range of 9, since we have 9 spheres, pay attention to the syntax. When we're using our nodes, we use the curly brackets to declare a list. But when we're typing our Python script, we use the square brackets for our list. The syntax for this will be center p dot append point by coordinates x of i, y of i, and z of i. These two lines of code are going to loop through the values of 0 through 9 and combine your x, y, and z lists into one center point list. This is the same as using the point by coordinates node. We're then going to have a second for loop in order to create the spheres. I'm going to use a different variable this time called j. Here we're going to assign values to the empty result list that we declared earlier. The two values that we need in order to create the spheres are the center point and the radius. We're going to set our output to the result list, which are the spheres. And that's it. We're done. 
When you run this, you can see that a second array of spheres was created, which is identical to the first one. When we go to our 3D preview mode and orbit around, you can see that they are exactly the same. So we produced the same output, the first time by using visual programming with the nodes, and the second by writing a Python script, which is called textual programming. These two methods of Dynamo programming can either be used individually or can work together. Most of the scripts that I've posted in my earlier videos were a combination of these two methods. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more about automation and building construction. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.